Thank you. Welcome to our uh, second edition of our bangers list. Uh, bangers are big modern books that we want to talk about that you should know about. And uh, we're going to get right in the list right now with number one on the list this uh, week. Um, this is a book most people should know. Um, frankly, one of my favorite modern covers. This is Champions number one, the one to 100 by Alex Ross. Kamala, Sam, and Miles burning their Avengers cards. I love, love, love this cover. Um, and, uh, you know, there are people out there now collecting covers with these three. Marvel continues to put them out. And this is one of the very, very best. Yeah, I mean, there was store variants in this, but I never thought this, this book would ever be past $100. But boy, was up, bro. Well, listen, it. listen. So we saw a sale for 900 right, yeah. last month. And uh, there's only there's less than 150 on the census, right? You'd this, think there's more. Surprise. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a surprising yeah. part. I would think it would definitely been at least... Four hundred on a cent. I I would to... I wouldn't have let it go for nine hundred. No no effing way. No way. This book is going to continue to hit new heights. I think, and uh, um, I will be grabbing it. I think if you get this raw, this is a gap book. If you get this raw and get it graded, um, might be the way to go for this one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. I chase uh, Miss Marvel Kamala Khan variants, but I this one's moved beyond where. Where I, where I can grab it, so I'm jealous. Yeah, the her, her, her look on this one is tough to beat, man. She's like, fuck off, right? I mean, I, I love it. I love the vibe in this one. Yeah. The, Alex Great Ross, Alex Ross cover. Yeah. yeah. I chased this one for a very long time. I lost so many bids. Um, it was Alex Ross, and I had to have it. And now I have two, and I'm <laughs> happy. I'm a happy camper. Nice, nice. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this. I, I'm one of one of the um, um, a friend in the community, uh, Salvador. He said that this was uh, auctioned off the actual um, art piece for wow. for for ten thousand dollars. And I was thinking, man, if I had ten thousand dollars to blow, uh, I would buy it. Actually, I think you know is, what? I I think I know who bought it because they hit me up on IG. I'm not gonna. Re it's a doctor. I'm not gonna repeat his name. He's a savvy collector. Mm -hmm. But um, somebody hit me up on IG and said I just bought the original art of this cover because I was talking I, about I, this thing. I think that's extremely cheap too. For I mean, ten thousand dollars is not you know cheap, but for an Alex Ross original, <laughs> I mean, of this? This yeah, cover, man. yeah. Um, was yeah. it signed? <laughs> <laughs> was it signed by Alex Ross? <laughs> You know, I was I was at his booth and he yeah, doesn't really that's sign the much, step, man. Right? Yeah, man, he it's a pain in the ass to get his stuff. That's why I have a raw copy because I'm waiting for it to get signed, but I don't think it's ever gonna happen. So I might just have to grade it. I know NYCC. He never at his goddamn booth. I was about to ask, like, has he ever been at the NYCC booth before? Because like, I've man, never I, seen him. No, he's not. Yeah, Dude, yeah, I was not here right now. I was I was there after hours and we we're waiting for um, his spawn 300 to get signed and I got number I got the number I got it mine was three out of what is it 100 or 500 and the guy he, he never showed up and I'm just like gosh this is supposed to be my favorite artist of all time and he's not here <laughs> but he, he, he came back and I got I got I actually got his um his print signed, so I was happy. All right, next on the list. Oh um, man, I know Mighty Mel V loves this book. Oh, um, love this it. is fucking crazy, right? <laughs> Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number one, the Vaughn Eden variant one in twenty five. Last sale uh, about a month ago for twenty five hundred, just over a hundred of these on the census. Break it. That 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 broke the record. From my boy, uh, Dennis Barger. He had, I think, he sold his totally CBCS for that was two grand. Yeah. CGC 9.8, 2,500. Uh, I don't think it's a stopping. Like, I, I honestly, like, I think this book is going to keep going. It's a, it, it is a definition of a fucking banger, man. Like, dude, I wish I had it. The, th the, th the thing about this book, why it's so, so many, uh, is, is this, are, are these total 
Oh, uh, copies of the census, or just uh, just nine nine eight. That's not nine nine eight. That's like total copies on the that's, census. That, any that's, grade, that's, any grade. That, that's insane. So that means there are raw copies still out there. The thing about the thing about getting a nine eight in this book, it was on the back of the book. It was a almost all copies had this nasty color rub in the lower right corner and also the top of right um top of right corner, the top right corner. And to get these to get this in a, in a nine eight is is is, spec- is 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 fucking impossible. So um. Kudos to you guys if, if you got a 9A. But again, Moon Girl was a book that I spoke about a long time ago, and, and nobody ever took it seriously. She always laid laid in the cut, let the beat build, let the beat build. Now the beat is building. But I'm pretty sure it's come down since so not a lot of people are talking about it. And now it's going to go back up again. So yeah. I'm all for it. I've been a Moon yeah. Girl fan from day one. Thanks to my Mel, niece. Mel, yeah, what, what, listen, what, I, I got to say, Mel was a supporter of this book before anybody that I knew, man. Like, the, yeah. like he had the back of this book before anybody, so um, props to you, man. I will say, and we've talked about this, and it's not on this list, but the hip-hop of this book yeah. is also really, really, really tough to get. Yeah. Um, no, it hasn't been selling at this price, but it's almost as uh, scarce, given the qualifier, and, and something to be uh, on the lookout for if you see it. Dude, it's all black and it's hard as hell. Oh the yeah, back is it. tough, but the front is even tougher. So that that, that color, that color up crazy. Would you yeah. say uh, blue, uh, blue green? I was just gonna ask you what what has been confirmed for Moon Girl screen wise. She's doing so, an animated Disney Plus show, is yeah. what I understand. Yeah, but there, but there's, there's some big name actors, like voice actors, attached to the project. As well, uh, as well as Lawrence Fishburne to attack his attack, yes, Fishburne. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna it's, <laughs> again. This book, Scholastic, was was number one on a scholastic level for a very, very long time, right? And people people don't, don't want to pay attention to that, but these are what the, the, the school kids were wanting. Oh, yeah, these are what the school kids were buying, and now these school kids are getting older, so of course, they're going to watch this on TV. I mean, yeah, even even my nieces and nephews they 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 enjoy this book. I mean, yeah. they're really for it. I I enjoyed the book. I was reading it. And I was like, wow, mighty yeah. mighty Mel V's right. Yeah, and, 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 and I had no shame. I had no shame at all reading this motherfucker. So it is what the fuck it is. Yeah, I went to a little mini con this last weekend, and the two different sellers had not this one, but the timely comics mm-hmm. version of number one. Price tags are like. 130 150 so yeah that's that's crazy, but... <laughs> i think the series in general is just yeah like, and it's, uh, the whole fucking series is super low print like any book yeah. in this run was not getting a lot of prints if you see any issue it's probably worth grabbing because i think it's going to get hot i think yeah. it's really going to get super yeah, hot. Every... i spoke i spoke about issue number 13 two one to 25s on a, on on a, on a issue thirteen that was not heavily ordered, um, that is probably the rarest Moon Girl variants. Those those one twenty five for issue number thirteen it was Sanford Green and um oh man I forgot the other brother's name uh the other artist uh somebody can look it up for me um but um yeah those two it it, it would have been issue nineteen but then the appearance of store variants fucked that up so um. Hey, yeah. The 13 yeah. is going to be on our ghost list in the future, man, because some of yeah. those 125s are oh. gone. Forget Gosh, it. That, that 13 mail, I was, uh, I had it at $42, and I was like, I don't want to spend $42. Now I'm buying it myself. Oh, man. And, uh, I was like, <laughs> oh, it's man, I'm just like. Pascal. Is that Pascal Fury? Was it? No, Pascal it wasn't. Ferry. A, yes. Pas- Pas- Pascal Fury, the one she's throwing the Frisbee. Yes. That was that's the one, oh, okay. And then another one, which is with the dinosaur, that is um Sanford Green of Bitterroot fame. Mm. Hey, Mel, yes, sir. What what made you eyeball this first? I remember you talking about this on Unpressable Defects, man. My niece, my niece, she she no had shit. Me, yeah, she said, um, when I showed her the Munga, she she she, she she's of mixed race and her hair is out of fucking control. And she goes, <laughs> she, she said, Oh, I don't, I, there's, there's no comic character that look like me. And I show her the Moon Girl. She's like, "Oh my god, I love her!" So I will always buy all the Moon Girls. So I said, like, "What the? Let me see what the hell this girl reading." I started reading. I said, "This is not for nothing. This is this is kind of interesting and shit." Yeah. So I, mean, I, I, I would I would pick up the Moon Girls and I and I would talk about it. And then for the longest time, she was always about Moon Girl, Moon Girl, Moon Girl. And it broke my heart because now she's got older. She don't give a shit about Moon Girl no more. I, <laughs> I mean, Ben has it right. I mean, like 
you know, and I was a diehard listener back in the day. You were the only person I ever heard talk about this book and look at the value. Look at the value of this book now. Unbelievable. I appreciate you, man. I mean, it's a lot of personality in this book. Yeah, yeah it's, it's 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 a it's a great innocent read, you know. And I'm glad I'm glad it's doing well. And again, I'm glad nobody talked about it. Really, everybody laughed at it. That's cool, cool, cool. Let the beat build. Let the yeah, beat build. Right, no, I mean, like I remember looking for this book, like at at like half price books, and I said, man, I know I can I can find this variant. And you know, I I procrastinated, and I should have got it when I could have gotten it cheap. Yeah, hey. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should have been a better b- drunken shark and bottle. <laughs> 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 All right, next Whoa. on the list, what do we got? All right, so listen, this is my fucking pick, and Oof. I don't give a shit if you yeah. come after me. Uh, you guys know <laughs> I'm a, a spider number one um, by Ji Hung Lee. This might be better. This might be better than no. that. I've seen a lot. Um, but uh, this is the uh, Mighty Thor's uh, number 705. The 1 in 50 by Ji Hung Lee. Uh, 172 on the census. This book doesn't actually go. It's not a crazy price, right? We sold one uh, back in late April for just under 300 bucks. Um, but a cover, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. Bye. Bye. Absolutely gorgeous. And something that could get a lot more heat, you know, as Jane Foster uh, shows up in uh, Love and uh, Thor: Love and Thunder. But uh, God damn it, I love this book. This was also a story, if I'm not mistaken. So there are kind of, it's, it's to be surprised, only 172 on census. Whew. Yeah, that's it. Mama, mama, <laughs> mama. Yeah, it's a mama pose too. <laughs> mama. Yeah, I, I think this is. I think this is. Brilliant, man. For me, for my money, I, I just love it. Yeah. Uh, I think this is the definition of a fucking banger, but uh, I'm happy to take pushback. I'm happy to take any pushback. No pushback oh. here, man. Yeah, 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 I don't think you get pushback yeah. on this one. Have you seen I, recently on Instagram what Ji Hung Lee had done with his uh, Gwen Stacy, the one in, I think, 500 or whatever? One in 100? The, the one, one in 200? No, the, the, the Gwen Stacy run. Oh, for issue number one. Is that what you're talking about? For yeah, like, where he shows his process of how yeah, he layers his beautiful. digital art and stuff like that. Yeah, it's that's amazing. really cool, man. Yeah, Which, so you, uh, do you mean a Ghost Spider book? No, no, not the Ghost oh, Spider. Oh, okay, gotcha. No, no, this this was interesting. She's, this is actually Gwen Stacy, like, in the like in a New York City crowd or whatever it was. Oh, uh, exactly. I yeah, saw where that. she's, like, looking over her shoulder. I saw that I, stupidly for $200. Should have sold it. Yeah, the, 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 this book right here, though, I mean, we can move on, but uh, 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 a book that I think is a, is a banger that's that frankly one? underappreciated in the common market, <laughs> and uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with it. But uh, is I that love the it. One? Yeah. No, it's not that one. It's a it. It was like um, cover B, I want to say, and where it had the trade, and then the incentive one was a virgin version of it. So uh, what I. I like this book and I like, uh, I, I like the facts. I like a lot about the lady Thor. I like the fact that Natalie Portman's coming back and kind of going to redeem, redeem herself a little bit in the eyes of, of the MCU fans. Um, I sometimes that you try to step into Feige's mind. Where does this character go? Is this, is it a lot of people are speculating that this is a one and done. Oh, it's going to just be a little cameo or just be a little one, one-off story. Um, or, you know, a lot of these original Avengers, they're looking at doing other things eventually. Uh, you haven't heard that from Hemsworth, but, you know, is there going to be a Thor 7? Like, what is his exit strategy, and does that involve having Lady Thor yeah. step up? There's, there's two ways it could go, Tony. She could die or she could live, right? And I don't know. This 705 is when she dies. Right, so if she dies, maybe this book catches a little bit more of a bid, Mm -hmm. regardless if it does or not. Like this book is gorgeous. If she goes on, I think this book also continues to do well, and I think there's a chance that she continues on in the MCU for a little while, and maybe they let Thor fade away. 
because all the other Avengers, right, have effectively yeah. gone away. Thor's Thor's the first guy to get four four movies, right? So nobody else has gotten four movies, right? And um, and I'm not complaining. I love the Thor movies, and I love the fact that Taika Waititi has taken over. But there's got to be an exit strategy at some point. You would think. You would think. Although maybe Hemsworth says, you know what? I'll sign up for more movies because I'm not going to get a bigger, bigger payday than this, right? So maybe right. he's going to be around for a while. Who, who, a who knows? Thor movie. Yeah, which is not to say that you know Jane Foster can't continue to hang around as well. Um, uh, this, the, the, you know, this book is in a banger because of the movie spec. Either way, but I think it can help uh, raise the profile even higher a little bit on this one. Yeah, so. no, it's a beautiful cover. The, just looking at the cape and looking at the hair, it's just, it's yeah, beautiful. I look at the lighting. You know, it's just yeah. Anyway, all right. <laughs> what do we got next? All right. So real quick, I had some people reach out and say, okay, where are all the Deadpool variants? Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, so we're going to have a couple of books here from Deadpool um, that I think worth talking about. Um, he's got a ton of variants. The first time we did the list, did the, did this list, he didn't have any. So uh, we feature him here. And I think, frankly, think these are all buys right now because whenever Ryan Reynolds shows up in the MCU, I think it's going to light a fire under Deadpool stuff. And uh, outside of New Mutants number at 98, I think a lot of his stuff is is pretty quiet in this current market. So this is Deadpool number 36. It's a 1 in 25 by Del Otto. Uh, we saw a sale of this book in 9.8 back in January, so a little while ago for 275, and there are only 55 on the census. Um, I, I think this book is super cool, to be perfectly honest with you. I love it. Um, and uh, and one that doesn't come around that often, and and one I think that could catch uh, some heat when Deadpool, uh, you know, catches heat again. But uh, uh, just what I wanted to put on on, on the list this this week. Yeah, sh shout out to the artist Tacos. I mean, uh, yeah. and and, uh, <laughs> and the writer Burritos. <laughs> and anchors and you know it is yeah, Jimmy's, Jimmy's I mean, this us. book, this book is so hard to find, man. Yeah, it you is. You know, yeah, I, I'm a huge Deadpool collector, yeah. and I love these one in twenty fives. Uh, so this was all for the uh, what they would title the uh, photo bomb variants mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So the, there's a full set for that go across different titles, and um, I love this one because it, it plays homage to Marvel Comics number one. Yep. So. Yeah, you don't see that homage very often. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, and it's a hard set to complete too. What year did this come out? Uh, oh, it's been um, God, two thousand thirteen or maybe twelve. What? When was the uh, Marvel seventy fifth anniversary shit? Mm. Yeah, okay. that's. I think it's fourteen, two thousand fourteen, somewhere around that time. Right. Gotcha. 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 All right, let's uh, let, let's keep it rolling. We get we got another one from Deadpool here, number twenty seven. So this might be one of my favorite Deadpool homages of all time. This is Art Adams. The last time this book sold was back in August of twenty twenty. So we haven't seen a ton of sales of these. Uh, they're eighty three on the census. So I remember this I remember relatively this. scarce. This is uh, uh, obviously a a, um, a Batman homage. This book is tough in a high grade. If you can see on here, this was a $10 motherfucking mm -hmm. cover price mm -hmm. for this book, right? So this book is super thick. Um, so, you know, really hard in high grade, um, but absolutely beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful. Um, um, you know, I have one of these. It took me a while to track it down, but um, one of his very best covers, I think. Is this the wedding issue? Is that right? I don't know, man. That's... Uh, uh, yeah, I think it is for the variant. I think it is number okay. twenty-seven. Yeah, it, it's a thicker book too. Like, yeah, yeah so it, it's definitely hard to get in high high grade. But like, yeah, uh, I don't think I've ever seen one in person, and I've been trying to collect. You know, Me neither. I haven't seen it out in the wild. I've never. So seen I found it. it a couple of years ago, and I graded it. Came back nine six. 
I, w- I thought it might have been a 9-8, but anyways, it came back 9-6. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. But uh, I think this cover is fucking awesome, man. Yeah. Really, really cool. Yeah, definitely great cover. Good pick. All right. So next we've got, you know, one of my yeah. actual <laughs> favorites. Man, let's hear it, man. <laughs> uh, this is a 1-50. in 50. This is Greg Horn. Um, this motherfucker hasn't sold since July 2020, based on what I saw. I bet this motherfucker uh, ain't been posted since July fucking 2020. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I I want to say I think I saw one recently sold from from one at Comics, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I. Th- so this is that uh, motherfucker probably got 40 of them. So <laughs> yeah, maybe they don't have every last piece. I think they pull mostly from eBay, um, but. Um, yeah, 74 in the census. This is obviously an homage to Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's actually a brilliant, brilliant homage, like one of my favorites. Um, but uh, a beautiful book. Um, but if you collect Deadpool variants, this one is fucking hard, man. This yeah. book is hard to come by. This shit yeah. was always, always a bang. Now, we talking about our principal defects. Joe, no, we talking about this shit, man, as a banger. And it's always been a, a high cost book. Three hundred is, is cheap compared to what it used to be. Tell yeah. Them. yeah, I don't think you find this thing though right now for three fucking hundred. I mean, that was the last yeah. number I saw on that list. But I don't think, I don't think this book you can find anywhere near that number. To be honest with you. You know, yeah. you know what? They have a Mexican variant of this. I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. You know when the Mexicans are doing variants, it's a big book because yeah. they only do fucking. <laughs> The biggest book. <laughs> that, 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 that just sounded crazy. <laughs> well, you know me. This is a uh, this is one of my favorites. Motherfucker, so, oh, you out? Uh, oh. so this is <laughs> signed, signed by Greg Horn. The first time I went to uh, New York City Comic Con, um, I had him sign it. Uh, Daniel Way is whatever. Like, uh, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Daniel Way is one of my favorite Deadpool writers, so like I love this run, and like I've been trying to do the completionist thing for this entire set, so it's been fun to piece together, like collecting all the second, third prints, like whatever. And you know, I had to knock this one out early because you know it's a one in fifty incentive. So how the fuck are you can afford to get that, but you got shitty internet. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It's because I let that, Nico pay for my internet. That is what it, we're, we're, hey, this is where you go. Nice job, Aaron. Good, good. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, put it, put it, put it in the box. You, 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 right, put, you all, put all your comments <laughs> below. Hey, you know that. Uh, <laughs> what, what is that movie with Christian Bale where he's a, a American Psycho? Psycho, where, yeah. <laughs> where it almost feels like that. Where. You know, he thinks he has the perfect business card, and then Aaron Yee comes over. Yeah, with yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, next on the list, we've got all right. My girl, and I just had to put this out here because I love this book, Mama. Uh, How are the duck number one first full appearance of Gwenpool? Um, Yes, she shows up on that Deadpool Secret Wars, uh, Secret Secret Wars number two, but she's not inside, so it doesn't really count. Uh, this is a one in twenty-five. Um, it only uh, counts if you're them. inside. What's that? <laughs> it, it only counts if you're inside. Yes, that's right. That is right. Hold on, Joe. Mama. Uh, I went. Um, I went to uh, two midtowns. I picked up two of these copies. I sold them for hundred dollars a piece. Yep. Yeah, I mean, in, in this this book is almost a grand now. In, uh, in yeah, it, it's a grand. Oh almost, almost doesn't quite crack that, but almost. Uh, and, and, and and like Gwenpool is just getting started, right? She yeah. is, right? She's like kind of. Uh, She's all over cult, the place. A cult character for for us, not jobs, but. I love this book. Um, it's not easy in high grade, believe it or not. This this cover picks up ticks pretty easily. Um, um, but uh, almost 300 on the census. I think most people who got these have graded them. What people don't know about this book is, is that when it, it, it hit um, FOC very, very late. So a lot of people missed the opportunity to order this book, even though they qualified for it. So... Um, yeah, a book that I that I really like, and uh, I think it's a banger by every 
every possible definition. Hey Ben, was the sketch variant of this? Was that a second print or what? The sketch was a second print, and here's what people sometimes miss about that. That was a one for one. So that means for every copy you ordered of the original cover, you got one of the sketch, right? So um, for, the, for the second print. For the second print, it was a one for one. So there were about seven thousand roughly ordered of that total. So half of those were the sketch. So thirty five hundred, let's say roughly, which okay. you know is not a huge print run. It's a good cover to have, nonetheless. This book is is far harder to get, though, right? This yeah. book is far harder to get, and um, this if you're really collecting Gwenpool, this is one you want to have. Um, but it's it's starting to get out of control. I, I saw a nine six go for about four hundred in an auction two or three days ago. So, um, you know, it, I mean, this book is. Yeah, I, was, I, I got you. I got you face to face right now. We spoke about this whole time, but we're face to face right now. Do you think and where do you think we will see Gwenpool on a big screen? Oh, Jesus, Mel. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta put you in the spot, baby. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. I love you. I love you. Um, best case, yeah, uh, best the case. guys from the Modoc show love her, right? That show did all right, it did better than expected. So, if we're gonna see her anywhere, it's probably in season two of that show because the uh, um, Jordan Blum, the writer, pushed for her to be in that show and they didn't say no. They just said not in the first season, so that's where we maybe see her for the first time. Mm -hmm. I would say she would be kill it in the MCU as a character who basically knows the history of the comics, but admits that they don't follow the movies perfectly. So you have this character who kind of has an idea of how the comics worked, who don't line up with the movies perfectly. Like there could be something cool to be done there, but I don't know. Marvel's trying to figure out what to do with her. Um, so I'm not holding out any hopes in the near term. Um, I but, could see but, Ryan Reynolds really pushing yes, to get yep. to get her involved in yep. some sort of multiverse. Yep. Oh Deadpool man, there, there is a small chance she shows up in Deadpool three. Yeah, and I, that would I, blow I, the fucking doors off. I so. don't disagree. Now, just how you, just like how you gave me props on Moon Girl, I'm going to give you props on 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 Gwimple because nobody was talking about the way you was talking about it. Yeah, well, I love you, them you, biggest, biggest fucking Gwimple fan, and I'm like, you know what? It got to a point where I was fucking so annoyed. At you talking about Gwimple uh, that I got on board. I was like, this motherfucker's going to suck. You should see a cosplay costume. Hey, 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 hey Mel, Mel, how would you, who would you cast as uh, as um, Gwimple? So I'm take? not gonna cut him off. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Off. Okay. yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna let him go. I was definitely about to pass it on again. Now I was gonna pass it on to you because you got that. You got that already lined up. <laughs> okay. So that girl from I don't know if you watch Lock and Key. Um, I forget her name, but the blonde girl from Lock and Key. She actually had pink, pink fucking tips of her hair dyed. Um, I think she would be fucking really good as well. Yeah, I, I didn't know Lock and Key came out of this uh, on TV yet. See, so that's what I meant with. Oh, dude, that, that's good, man. Like, he didn't get the props it deserved, but it's on Netflix. Check it out. Lock and Key season one was fucking good. It was fucking good. But there's a girl in that. Who's that, who's that blonde from uh, Cloak and Dagger? Is that who's? Oh, yeah, that's not a bad show. She might be all right. She might yeah. be all right. Yeah, I just started watching that. I just started watching that show. You gotta have some comedy chops for this role. No, but that, yeah, that's why this girl from Lock and Key would work, man. She had the comedy chops. Yeah. Um, Are you talking about Halia Jones? Yes, yes, that's her name. I forget her name in the show, um, but she was really good, man. She was really good. I, if I had to pick someone like that, who I would pick, I think she's perfect. She played Eden Hawkins in Lock and Key. Was that her name, Eden? Or was it? Or is it the other one? The Emma Jones, who played Kinsey Lock. Kinsey, yes. Yeah, it was the one Kinsey. Okay. Kinsey, yes, yes. That was her character. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it's Emma Jones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. All right. What do we got next on the list? Uh, a Jen Bartel absolute fucking banger by every fucking sense of the word, right? America number eight. Man, Jen Bartel <laughs> at her best. In America... My issue number eight was getting fucking nothing. Yeah, like, it was like yeah, 10,000 10, yeah. ordered book, best case, right? Because by the end, it was 6,000. Um, you can't find this book. 
42 on the census. You know, last sale was back in February for 400 at a 9.8, but forget steal. it. Steal. That's a fucking steal for 400. I would I, I would buy it in a second for 400. I'd buy it fucking raw for 400 at this point. Yeah. yeah. Especially, especially yeah. with how, how hot Martell is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, look how hot Martell is, and then you have America, like, coming up. I mean, this is an exciting series. So, I mean, I've, I've been picking up back issues since, like, I joined the group honestly, just because like it's yeah. exciting. Mm. I, I I know we got a lot of fanboys, Bartel, and I, I I'm gonna I'm just, just I'm gonna join the chorus. But I've been chasing Bartel books for a few years. I, I I was hunting down her first appearance or her first art in Gem and the Holograms a couple years ago. I was able to snag one of these about two and a half years ago, a nine point eight for. A hundred and ten dollars. Oh my gosh, uh, Tony Bartell is from Minneapolis, where I live. I, I haven't met her, but uh, she just came out with a, a, a graphic novel about the music scene in Minneapolis. Here, I love, love Bartell. I buy her shoes. She has a <laughs> shoe. I'm serious. She, she's designed shoes for Puma and for um, uh, really, well, Swiss. really. Yeah, she did. I thought a, you were joking. No, no. <laughs> she, did, she, did a, she did Thanos and Captain Marvel shoes for Adidas. Adidas? Okay. And then she did some Harley shoes for Birds of Prey, which bombed. But the cool the shoes are cool. She did those for Puma. Um I, I want to wear them around town just in case I run into her and have them sign them or something. But uh no, love Bartel and on the if you go back to her gem and the holograms, she started doing this style of cover back then. Nobody's going to know any of those characters, but these like close up portrait style where you, you, this one actually doesn't have as much emotion as some of the others. They are killer. They're just beautiful. Uh, I, I love this cover. I love this book. Mama. I, just told my, I just told my wife about the, the Jim Bartell. Um, Daniel. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> one of his crazy sneakerheads. I'll walk behind me. As I'll get them. This so yeah, this. Yeah, let me, so, so, let me see it. Yeah, let, let me see it. Let me see it. But these aren't the Thanos. These are. She did the. Holy shit! Oh, wow, yeah. this yeah. shit is Holy dope. Shit. Oh my gosh! I want that box. How much are you selling the box, Tony? <laughs> What's in the box, man? Come on. Nah, I got. I, I got to see the Thanos joints. Dude, Dang. don't. Think Dude, that's a collectible, bro. That's fire, man. Good yeah, man. Good shit. Can we see the box again? Can we see the box again? I want to see the box. Wow. What's in the box? Jeez, man. Imagine her signing that. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Please. Is she don't get the box. Yeah. Don't mess up the box. Um, well, this, this, this book, to me, I think it, this has to be ranked probably in the top five. I think this has to be ranked probably in the top five. Uh, covers in my opinion like my favorite covers um just look at it i mean joe just look at it look at it joe <laughs> but uh okay. it's a mama um mama. But, uh, when when i when i first looked at uh, saw this cover i was like i i have to get this cover it's just gorgeous it's beautiful and i think it's a perfect this is a perfect um picture um and uh, I compare it to honestly, I care. It to, I compare it to uh, Leonardo da Vinci's Sacred Heart of Jesus. Like it doesn't have the eyes that follow you, but it just has that 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 feel to it. Um, it's uh, to me, it's just perfection. Um, if it was, if I, if I, if uh, Jen Bartel was selling it, um, the original for five thousand, ten thousand um, dollars. I would definitely pick it up. I'll, I'll dish out my five grand for that original art. Um, I think it's worth way more than it than it than it is. I don't really don't know how much the her original piece uh, go for, but um, I don't even know how she does it. Is this color pencil? Is this painted? Uh, I don't know. I, I last time I checked her, she was doing digital. But if she's selling this original um, art piece, uh, I would definitely look into. It into it and uh, invest in it. I would love to hang this on my wall. And I don't say that much on a lot of original art artwork when it comes to uh, comic book stuff. So- um, you, you ain't got shit on your wall behind. 
<laughs> I know I need to put a comic book or something. I, I, I had a comic book up here and it fell. You look like you're doing a podcast from jail, bro. <laughs> I know. I no, got to set it up. Uh, uh, were you saying that? Hey, no, up, no. I, wanted to, sure, I wanted to make sure we talked about my book, even though I'm locked up tonight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, man, my book was. In nine eight, these are going for nine. These are being listed for over nine hundred on eBay. So, mm-hmm. this last sale it is nowhere near where you can get this book right she's, now. She's the master of eyes. Just pay attention to her eyes, man. She's really good with that, and it's very difficult to to draw and paint and sketch eyes. But I think she mastered it very well. See, this, yeah. see, this, is, this is what art becomes a culture thing because Samson would need deep talking about Da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> All, all I see, all, all I see is, a, uh, is, is a is a Puerto Rican gym. That's all I see. I know, but look at that that <laughs> rainbow. You know that rainbow coming across her face. Oh my gosh! This is this is this. Um, when I got when I saw this, I compare this to is it Jorge or George Molina's uh, Miss Marvel uh, variant two and um, Alex Ross's Champions that we just saw. But yeah. this right here is. I don't know. I might. It, it might top them all. I mean, I don't so know. So you're saying this thing is a fucking banger, right? It's a this is a banger. fucking banger, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if somebody I mean, were stepped in a room, room, this is an eye grab, right? Eye catcher is a conversational piece, right? Whether you like it or not, people that don't like comic books or don't know what a comic See? book is, oh, look at that. Are, those are some kicks. Yeah, those Bartel. Yeah, yeah these are the Bartel. Family. How, how's the, is it the same box or a different box? No, this was Adidas. They didn't. They didn't uh, do it very well. They just put a little. Yeah. Oh, come on, right, Adidas. Step up your game, man. I know, that's right? What Adidas says, right? Yeah, I like the Harley shoes better, but. Yeah, it's got those the yeah, infinity right. stones. I, in I there. would wear those, man. I would wear yeah, those. Yeah, I'm gonna tell my wife about those joints. All right, next on the list, what do we got? All right, so this is a book I frankly really like and found. Uh, when I was researching uh, just rare books, this is Spider Gwen number zero. So, this is technically, believe it or not, the seventh print of Edge of the Spider Verse number two. Um, the last sale of this book um, was for 600 bucks, um, and there's only 24 in the census. Now, Comicron has the print run of this book of right around 5,000, if I remember correctly. Um, that said, that doesn't jive with what I'm seeing on the market when this book shows up, right? With only 24 in the census and uh, the numbers that you see on eBay, I think that number's inflated a little bit because there was a first print of this book and I don't think anybody fucking cared about ordering the second print. So um, uh, a really super cool book, in my opinion. I think it looks beautiful. Um that uh, that a lot of people are unaware of, um, and I think it could be out there in back in, uh, in back issue bins right now with people not knowing about it. But uh, um, a really, really sort of tough to get book um, uh, that's starting to climb in price aggressively. Yeah, it's a beautiful cover. Um, Spider Gwen, you know, she's one of my favorite characters also, and this was a hard book to find. Like, actually, honestly, I didn't even know about it until until I heard heard you talking about it Ben, and then yeah. i think i ended up buying it from some online retailer i don't remember who but yeah it, it was it was really hard for me to find like even in that at that point so yeah i don't think the comic card numbers jive with how rare this book is per, to be perfectly honest because i've hunted it for a while i've got a copy i've got one i've got one copy of this but it doesn't pop its head up nearly as often as it should if there are sort of four to 5,000 copies out there. So uh, something's not adding up. Um, but uh, I always see this book on cover price um, in their variant section. If you look at their sort of their, their hot variants, this book is always showing up on that list. And uh, uh, one that I think is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. And I just love that blue background. Like it's just yeah. perfect. Yeah. That pops. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next on the list is all right. So god damn it, I love Jeff Deckel. And this this is kind of what kind of got me going on him. Perfectly perfectly honest with you. 
Um, this is Invincible Iron Man number one. This is a one in 25. Um, we saw this book sell for just under 400 bucks last March. There's only 135 on the census, right? That's not a high, uh, a high number by any means. Um, but this cover is absolutely beautiful. If we see Tony Stark um, sort of being the AI for Riri in her show, I think this book could go absolutely crazy. Uh, I know savvy collectors have been grabbing this whenever they see it. Um, this is arguably Riri's very best cover, um, and I'm pretty comfortable saying that. Um, but uh, one of my favorite artists, one of my favorite characters, um, I just think this book has everything going for it. Yeah, I only got six of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that afro, man. That's why I bought the why I bought this book. I mean, her attitude, though, man. Yeah. Like, look at her fucking attitude, man. Like yeah. it's, it says it all in this picture. Yeah, this is a hardcore uh, cover. That last nine eight cell, that might have been me. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's you can still get it's affordable, man. You yeah, know. this is this will always be a banger. <laughs> it was ba a banger right off the bat when it came out. Yeah, I mean this this book is just fucking stunning. Like no question about it, just absolutely stunning. Has so much going for it. And honestly, if I was like looking to put some money out, like sub five hundred, like this might be one of the books I tell people to go grab right now because with her show coming and not only her show, but like she's going to be central to the MCU. Like I would be kind of pushing this book for my friends if they said, "What should I be buying?" At these price points, this seems to make a lot of sense. Yeah, and it's probably the most beautiful re cover there is. Like, I mean, I'm sure there's something better, but like, I wait, really a minute, like wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, what do you got? In this oh one? yeah, this, this is it. This was the this was one of the books that um I kind of like a new. The Kyle was 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 on some serious shit. Um, the first one it wasn't even a book; it was a print from um Ravenous. And I know Ben, um, I keep talking to Creature Entertainment about what we what we talked about, but um, that yeah. Ravenous print. I was like, well, who the fuck is this guy? And then when I met him, <laughs> I think I, I said his name wrong. He, he corrected me real quick. I was like, damn, this guy's I fucked up. <laughs> 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 but um, when I seen this, I was like, I picked up multiple copies of this, but I don't have them anymore. I sold them. Way, way, way too early. Um, nine eight sales, three seventy five. Good, but at one time, the, I think one sale was eight hundred. That might have been fuckery a foot though. But at three seventy five, when she appears on the show, people will be searching out this cover. Definite banger. I'm surprised it's one thirty five on the fucking sense. To be honest with you. Yeah, man, I, I agree, Mel. I thought there'd be more, and like you, right? We love this guy, Jack. Right? I mean, you. If anybody, uh, you got my back on this one. I know Aaron. Absolutely. I know Aaron loves lo lo loves Eccles too. But yeah, th th this book is is beautiful, man. This is what this is the cover that led me down the rabbit hole of all those uh, all of his other stuff, man. This guy, this guy's got something going for him. No, and that's, that's it's AI, man. AI, AI, AI Twenty Stark in the background. No, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, back, the <laughs> background, the background, man, is just it, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I want to. Yeah. I want to say it was the something is killing the children. Number eight, one in twenty five is what me got got me on. Oh, uh, Christ, man, that book. I that, that's I, I collect all of his stuff, and I'll never get that fucking book. Holy shit, that thing's out of reach, but it's beautiful. Well, this three seventy five, you think is out of reach? Went to the fucking show. No, 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 like as soon as they announced Riri, I bought this book like right away. I was like, I was like, I need this in my collection before it goes like fucking bonkers. I was gonna fucking, I was ben, gonna you need a call. Uh, uh, something is killing the children. Here he go. Here he go. His bullshit. It's two grand book. It's fucking two grand. I mean, he got yeah. four. I mean, one fell into my lap. Uh, fell into my lap. <laughs> you know, uh, but I, I can, I can send it to you. Oh, wow! Oh my God! <laughs> How much? How much you want for it? Hey, no, it's Aaron's copy, man. I just I sent him my the press that's going on market. <laughs> we'll talk back soon. But, 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 I, but I, 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 I just put what do you, what do you sell that for? Because I was gonna list mine for two grand. Everybody said no, don't you fucking dare. 
Are you, are you talking about a raw one or a graded one? Graded, and not it. Yeah. See, I, I mean, I have a graded CBCS that I'm keeping for my personal, and then I was going to grade this this one that Joe has for pressing to CGC. It, 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 it's going to be a 9A, bro. It's going to be a 9A. It, it's fucking <laughs> flawless. It's flawless. Uh, see, I don't know. I, I, I personally was waiting for some sort of confirmation of, hey, this is going into production or, you know, or yeah, this is option for sure by this company. Bro, trust me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm not worried about that. I'm waiting for the official announcement before a I start selling. A Aaron extras. had it in a bag like this. Dude. <laughs> and, and I was just like, I'm going to put it in a Mylar and I'm going to triple board it. No. God, you know? <laughs> but, but, that, let, that was let, one of the only books that was in the Mylar. Let, let, let's, let's go back to the original <laughs> banger, which is Invisible I mean, um Again, <laughs> this book, once, once it hits TV... It's gone, right? It's yeah. Out of reach. Yeah, 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 it is. Fucking to the moon, like they say in the stock world. I remember this was fifty dollars or something like that. How much is it? How much is it I, now? I, 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 saw, I saw, I saw, I sold mine for thirty. I picked, I picked one up for like ten dollars in a, like a, what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can yeah. get a CGC nine A for about four hundred bucks right now. Really? Nice. Of all the money you can spend right now, because books are nuts, that seems like a fucking no brainer. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's not. I mean, it's not like a cheap buy-in, but like in today's market, like that's a relatively low cost for a buy-in for a book right now. It, it's yeah, so volatile. It's, it's so volatile that it could jump to eight hundred dollars in a month. Easy, easy. It already, it already, sold, it already sold for eight. It already sold for eight. Eight hundred. There's yeah. one. There's a nine eight right now for four hundred. I just looked at it. <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, what do we get next? Let's keep this list going. Hold on. I still want that that Oh, yeah, that was mine. All right, so this is Stephanie Hans. This is Ironheart number one, a 1 in 50. That's mine. We talked about uh, another one of these books on the last um, bangers list. The Bartell. It was the Jen Bartell one. Yeah, Bartell was fine. I got a a shitty parade. This is this is not good. What? This ain't good. You like this cover? Hell this yeah. is not listen, this is not her best. Yeah, Fam, family. No way. Look, yeah. look at her, her neck is crazy right now. I don't think this is Han's best work, but no. I will say this. One in, this book, Ironheart One had about forty thousand copies ordered, right? It was no not store, highly no store ordered. Variant. So book, no store variant, you right. Go ahead. Right. So this book is gonna be tough to come by in one in fifty. Um, so uh it's I, I for, for me, I like the Bartel better. Um, oh, but uh, yeah. uh, but but this book you could see it hitting some crazy prices in the last <laughs> sale only at three hundred bucks last uh, just in May uh, like, with twenty four in the census who knows who knows where this goes put it like this I grade everything especially shit like one in fifties I got a fucking not, guaranteed slam dunk nine eight I, that shit is in the back of a goddamn box and I pass it <laughs> so many times like nine five this is no, no I thought. Fair. When I when I first saw this, I was like, "What is she? Is she wearing um is she like night 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 no. armor?" Like yeah. I, I I was like, I don't know, just sitting. Uh, it's oh, like she's fucking hot hot heroin right now. You know, you guys can kiss <laughs> my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Mama, it's a mama. It's, it's a, a mama, mama. Joe. <laughs> dude. It 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 pops off the cover, man. What are you guys talking about, man? <laughs> now you can't compare what we just saw the last slide to this. There's really no comparison, but a standalone to its own. I mean, it's a beautiful cover. I don't know what you guys are looking at, man. Stephanie Hans has her own, you know, oh, stylistic man. art style. Obviously, thank and you. It, it doesn't hit. Perfectly, a lot of her art doesn't hit perfectly with me, but you know, it's like Tula Lote. I mean, she, some people love her, some Lote people, a beast. It, it, some people don't, it doesn't vibe with them, you know what I mean? So, it, it's a great book, nonetheless. Uh, this is like, uh, some like it should be like, uh, that that that, that Green Lantern, Green Arrow drug cover. <laughs> This does it. Strung out. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely strung out of this one. This is a hollow. The name needs to iron Harlem, not iron heart. This is <laughs> this what your, your book comes up, Mel. I'm gonna poo poo it. <laughs> this is Lexington <laughs> Avenue. Fucking <laughs> all right, all right. On, on to the next book. 
All right. So oh, yeah. TJ's I book. It. I think this was TJ, uh, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, or Josh. I forget. Anyways, uh, Uncanny Avengers number one, Adi Granov, a one, one in 50. Um, this book sold back in August of last year for 250 with 172 in the census. I mean, Scarlet Witch looking her best. I mean, this cover is beautiful, yes. right? Absolutely beautiful. I, yeah. I bought this book from Dino, man. He had a 9.6. I said, send it to me, man. I, I got to have it. You know, it's 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 stunning. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, I don't have it. I wish I did. I don't. Absolutely beautiful. How fast did yeah. you pack it? No, well, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> no, you know, because like Big Leg, he had pressed it for him and it came back a 9 6. And I, you know, I got a lot of respect for Sean, and I'm not gonna, you know, you know, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I would crack it and reset it because that great might have had a bad day. Well, I don't know, you know what I mean? I have a kind of mixed, uh, that's my boy, Sean, man, he's a goat. Sean's yeah. good, man, but he's not per. I mean, it has nothing to do with Sean's skill. Sometimes these motherfuckers just fuck you right on your grades. So. Yes, yes, that's a fucking hundred percent fact. Okay, I'll crack it. <laughs> <laughs> that move, no, that Sean move, that, submits his own book sometimes. That so. move, that that I got the the Moon Girl Vod eating, fucking flawless fucking copy, nine six, and it graded all my Moon Girl variants nine six. I say, I fuck with me, and then the fucking Darth Maul book I sent in. It was not a nine eight, and I got a nine eight. I said, Stop with the bullshit. <laughs> you know my favorite fucking one is. I sent in an ultimate Fallout four. Comes back in eight five. I'm like, you fuck eight you. Five. Fuck it. Don't even repress it. Send it back the same day. Comes back nine six. Fucking eight five to nine six. With no no repress, repress, nothing. nothing. I knew a fucking thing to the book, right? So like, like these guys, you know. They're all over the fucking place sometimes. So, um, if the greater great, great had sex and not the earlier day. <laughs> all right, next, next on the list. <laughs> all right, I fucking love this book, and I think if you're gonna play Century, this is the fucking book to play, given his story. Uh, so this is Century number one. This is the Artie Rosen one in fifty variant, and like people are saying, who the fuck is Artie Rosen? Well, Artie Rosen <laughs> made up name because uh, this whole fucking story was made up. He was supposed to be a forgotten character. This is uh, Jay Lee, um, but uh, yeah, the whole thing was this character existed and everybody forgot about him. The last sale of this book was in May for over a grand, um, and there's two sixty on the census. Um, I think the Sentry is a really, really cool Marvel character. I don't know. I mean, Null fucked him up, um, but I don't think he's going anywhere. Uh, but if you're going to play this character, this version of the cover that's a throwback, um, I think is the right way to play it. Um, and uh, and a banger by every sense of the word. Man. I, I had a chance to pick this up for 80 bucks. I oh, don't know it was a one to fifty. I just passed it because you, 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 you know what, Ben? I'm gonna have to disagree on this banger because I don't know. I just the uh, the cover. I I get it. You know what, what, what you're saying, but uh, we just bashed Joe's um, whatever his book. But this <laughs> one right here, <laughs> this, I don't know. I I just I just I wouldn't spend. Uh, I wouldn't even spend like. I don't know. I'm not going to go there, but, but we got to stop saying the word F, the, the word, um, the F word, because probably kids are probably watching this, uh, this episode. Fuck that. <laughs> the kids are in the next <laughs> room. No, I love this joke. I did feel bad because I, I got, um, it was, it was a, young, a, young, a young man that follows me. I'm like, why are you following the drug and chat? Like, they made me feel bad like a motherfucker, man. Uh, no, no, but I, I get it. I just, I, I don't know. When I think of a banger, I think of all the other ones came that came along, and and I don't know. This one just doesn't stand out to me. But yeah, I get I it. Century, I get it. I think Century yeah. is not done, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. in Marvel, and. Uh, and the other cover is so modern. The throwback nature to this cover, given the character's history, for me, makes this um, kind of a must-have. Yeah. If you buy into who the century is. And if you're going to play who the century is, in, yeah. in, my, in my opinion. I've got cover A as well, but it, it's it's a much more modern 
sort of, you know, everyday kind of cover. Um, and I, I like this one um, for sort of the history of who the character was and how Marvel sort of projected who the character was, right? It was a character that was forgotten, had been around since the Golden Age, and that's why this ca this cover really jumps for me. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it, it echoes the Golden Age, and, and yeah. uh, it, it, it's so unique for, for the time, you know, uh, for, for now, you know, it, it's like, you have to honestly appreciate golden age covers to appreciate this. Yeah. You know, and absolutely. Uh, yeah. I kind of come down right in the middle there. I, I, I'm, I like, the, <laughs> I like the design of this cover. I like the throwback along with the, the graphic, you know, uh, splashes that Jay Lee did or Artie Rosen. Um, <laughs> for me, Sentry isn't a character that I really connect with that I, um, I think it, it, who knows? I, I think eventually every character is going to see a screen at some point in time. Um, but I, I wouldn't mind owning this just because I know it's a very sought after book. Um, but it, I'm not a, I'm not a sentry guy, I guess. So you say I should go back and get the one for eighty dollars. <laughs> yeah, if you skip eighty bucks, Mel. Go fucking grab it. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give you eighty bucks, Mel, and you can grab it. Uh, oh, yeah, I just to say, yeah, I just wanted to say. Like I remember this book from, um, I guess what was the precursor to Dealer Flipside when Nico had it on comparison. Like when I first joined the Modern Playbook team, like he had this book up, and I don't remember the other one, but like this one kind of like resonates with me because I saw it for like sixty bucks in the book group, and I had just missed it barely, and I was like, I was like, man, and then now I can't find it, and just, I don't know, but right. I think it'd be a good play. What else we got? Cause I gotta start. Right. Trying to let's keep it. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. All oh. right. So this is Aaron's pick, and this book is the book deserves two slides. All right. So this <laughs> is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number seven hundred. This is a Ditko one in two hundred variant. Last sale of this motherfucker went for eleven grand, <laughs> eleven hundred bucks, uh, eight hundred ninety-three in the census. So wait a minute, eight hundred and ninety-three on the census. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Like, can you go to the next slide? Yeah. Because I was poking around like, what the fuck? <laughs> 637 <laughs> in the fucking yellow label. 637. Yeah. Right? And, it's, and, it's, and it sells for what? 11,000? 11, 1,100? Yeah, so Marvel must have been giving away either Stan Lee or Ditko. I don't know. It can be Ditko. Stan Lee autographs of this book. Um because there's over 600 in the uh, label. Now, beyond that, there's fucking three greens and three purples for <laughs> modern comic book. Yeah, how, how do you fucking yeah, get you, a... For fucking modern, right? You never... what, what if I would you try to restore it? Like, <laughs> what the fuck is you doing? I don't know, man. This is fucking blows my mind a little bit. I do not only what the fuck I, are you doing, what the fuck are you doing three fucking times? You didn't put the tape on the motherfucker. <laughs> you so know, I I, I, I told and then, and then had the bowl send it in. I, I told Aaron I didn't have this book and you piece of shit, you put it on there and you take it. <laughs> Aaron, can we go back to the first I want to talk about the yeah. cover real quick and what the story was about this cover, just so everybody knows. Can you go back to the to the to, to the other slide before this one. Well, you mean right, Joe, so Joe doesn't have the original uh, art for AF fifteen, Amazing Fantasy fifteen, right? Um, but they didn't like it, right? So they told Yitko to fuck off, and they went with um, the cover Perfect. we all know and love, right? So um, uh, they brought this cover back uh, effectively, right? So that's what what happened here, and um, uh, so there's a lot of sort of historical value to this. Yeah, that's which is cool. That, why that's this, cool. Why this book is so in demand, um, but uh, it's not easy to come by. But I was blown away by the numbers I saw in the census after Aaron suggested this. I, 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 can, I can see somebody ripping the shit and putting tape back on just for like <laughs> dollars of value. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's dope. Now I can understand what is three purple labels. I got yeah, they, they, they did it on purpose or some shit. I think yeah. so. I think because you got to be a goddamn fool to fucking fuck up a body. <laughs> And then tame it instead of this. <laughs> you get to come okay. Oh, shout out to Nate. Shout out to Nate Diaz. No spoiler. A fucking warrior. 
by the, any means of the fucking word. Nate Diaz, you are the fucking man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's how to say it. All so, right. Good so, shit, man. For, so for uh, Stan Lee's 90th birthday, 99 copies were signed, and then they had this little insignia on the yellow label saying, like, signed for, by Stan Lee on his 90th birthday. That's cool. So, so that's, that's probably cool. where 100 come from. And I think um, one of the retailers that was uh, Stan Lee's handler had a bunch of copies also. So okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. I, well, I, I mean, we saw the numbers on this one to 200. Because even if there were like 200,000 copies of this book printed, um, you know, you can't get to those numbers at a one in 200. So something was going yeah. on. Yeah. I, I, I was trying to do the math in my head too. And it's like, I don't know. I hate when people call him handlers. What is it? He's not a fucking Bengal tiger. He's a fucking <laughs> man. Well, I didn't want to say the, the company's name. On fucking the... handler. Yeah, yeah. All right. What, 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 do we got <laughs> what, what do we got next? All right. Uh, uh, Richie, Richie really wanted this book on here. And, yeah, uh, rightfully so. Why the hell not, man? It's rightfully a fucking so. banger by every sense of the word. Darth Vader number three. This is a La Roca 1 in 25. Right for the uh, First appearance of Dr. Afra. Uh, last nine eight sold in May for 2300 There's fucking almost 700 of this book on the census. I just want to point out, guys, like we've talked about some books that had fractions of this number on the census that were, weren't selling anywhere near this. So, you know, some of these books earlier on this list, Maybe they're worth buying at some of these prices. Yes, yeah, yeah. This is where this is fucking going because this isn't exactly super rare, um, but it's fucking running away in price. So, uh, uh, by all means, grab it. Honestly, for my money, the cover A is better. Like, I think she looks a lot cooler, uh, but this book is harder to come by, so it's fetching the premium prices. I like this book a lot. You know, I've never really looked at it all that closely. Is he trying to help her up, or is he trying to kill her? I think he has his hand out. I think yeah, he's he shouldn't have help her. Yeah, the yeah. one hand is helping her up, and the other hand has the lightsaber on. Right. Join right. me, and together we can rule the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like she has something in her in her in her hand that's like hanging there. So maybe uh-huh. he's just like try, he's trying to get that and say. Yeah, oh, yeah. Actually yeah. Help or something. Who knows? Yeah. Phil would know. If yeah, Phil said it was cell phone. What the fuck right. is Phil? <laughs> yeah, I think. Working. I mean, Afra speculation is rampant, and there's been mm-hmm. nothing. There's been no news. I, you know, there. There's people like me who who think one of the casting of Obi Wan might be, uh, might involve Afra, but there's really been no news out of that at all. And for the prices to go as crazy as they have over i mean these prices were going up before this COVID effect where everything just boomed this last year so i don't know it's it's inevitable that they'll they'll that she'll show up somewhere i don't know where the ceiling is on these it's star wars so i mean the audience for star wars is much bigger than the audience for you know your something is killing the children you know what i mean Agreed, man. This book could continue to go, um, but it's not hyper scarce. At six sixty eight, like you know, that's not super limited, right? But you know, it's it's they're, they're out there if you want, if if you want them. So um, anyway, I think we have another Star Wars book on for the next book on the list. All right, Thrawn number one. I, Mel, this might have been you, man, who wanted this one on the list. I was fucking floored, man. This motherfucker sold for three thousand bucks. Jeez, uh, uh, you know, I sold my, like, I, sold my, I sold my shit for a thousand dollars. I remember that. I remember this that. Was, this was um, a couple days ago, right? Um, Ninety tight. on the census. Ninety of this book. I want my book back. I'm going to threaten the guy. <laughs> <home. laughs> didn't, did, didn't didn't you buy a, like a PlayStation for with this book or something? Like right. that, though? Right. <laughs> Like, so, I'm, so, I'm so I, I was in a half price book and I got this book half a cover and I could not get out of that half price books fast enough. <laughs> I, I swear to God. So yo, I, I, I didn't I'm, even I'm, let yo. the guy I didn't even let the guy touch the book. I go, there it is right there. And I bought goes, I bought the nine for like three hundred. I, I, I got in the car and I and and I was holding on to the book at the same time driving. 
driving with one wheel and and then I uh, calling my friend and 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 driving slow, you know, like oh my god, oh my god, I put it in the press. Next day I send it out, came back a nine eight. Well done, well done, well done, Joe. I'm no I'm bag and board, a, no bag I'm, and board. I'm about to hit the dude up like this. I shit you not, no bag and board. It's like I thought I'm giving you, you, you want to talk board. like I felt like Charlie from the chocolate factory getting the, <laughs> the golden ticket, man. Yeah, that, this that's is a, <laughs> Listen, I, I I gotta hop up. It was to put your bid thing for um having me. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I gotta start start to, the drunken chat. But you thank you for having me. For the yeah, I love you, Mel. Man. Love you. Thanks for joining. Fucking, thanks, thanks, fucking, thank, thank, thank you, Mel. Yes, absolutely. I'll, I'll be back one one week to do um this all over again. Unpressable, baby. Unpressable. Absolutely, absolutely, brother. Uh, hey, join us right, for Thank, thank you, Mel. Thank you, bud. Absolutely. You, if anybody wants to join, just hit me up. You know what I mean. All right, we'll do. All right. Uh, next on the list, we've got one more Star Wars. Oh uh, no! So Wonder oh. Woman thirty eight. God damn, this book is impossible. Uh, yeah, Steve yeah. was supposed to be here tonight to talk about these. He likes to joke that we throw in some token DC books after we talk about all the other books. But uh, <laughs> uh, this is a Finch one one hundred man. Um, Two hundred thirty six on the census. The last copy of this sold for almost a grand. Um, Back in May, but beautiful cover, a yeah. book you never see, a book oh. I would love to have. Um, really, 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 really brilliant stuff. If if I see this at Baltimore, I'm gonna buy it, dude. I've wanted this book for so long. Yeah, it's gorgeous, man. It's yeah. fucking gorgeous. Steve might beat you to it though, right? I bet you yeah. Steve has it, man. Steve uh, yeah. when it comes to rare uh DC <laughs> books, Steve's got him, man. He he's kind of humble about it, but I think Steve has it. Like I really do. Like he he's got all those books. Yeah, yeah. And Finch is an amazing artist too. He is. Yeah. He, yeah, he's underrated, man, big time. Yeah, and this and then this cover is just perfect. Uh, it's fucking hell, perfect. yeah, man. Do we know what the what what the print run on the regular Mama. cover? Makes? <laughs> you know, I don't. I should have looked that up, Tony. Uh, I mean, I can look it up right now if you want. It wouldn't take that long. Um, I can't imagine it's that high for one woman 38, right? Hold on. I just wanted to read. You know, that's the only reason I want the book, so I can read it, you know? Yeah, of course. I mean, the, the story is what you're after, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think there's a key. I think it's a key. There's a good article in there, right? Yeah. You know, for the articles? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, there's a fold out something or other. I can't remember. Yeah, I mean, you got to read that thing. Otherwise, you're not going to get appreciation. First appearance of those badass shorts. That's what <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. Give me a second. I'll tell you what the order number was. In that a, I, I really like, you know, I'm 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 not Steve. I'm not the DC guy. I I like the cover. Um, there's been in the last few years. There's been some beautiful, beautiful Wonder Woman covers that have come out. Middleton has just killed it on. Oh, them. I mean, there's yeah. got to be a, a dozen just beautiful Middleton. Jenny covers. Friesen, so, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So well, I mean, Hughes had a number of good covers. Oh yes, I take that back. Yeah, yeah. Adam Hughes, bro. All right, oh so here's goodness. what blows my mind. So based on Comicron, that book had 26,200 copies ordered, right? No, so that's, no way. For a 1 in 100, I mean, that doesn't <laughs> seem possible. That's bullshit. That doesn't seem possible. No way. Because probably like, 2,600. I mean, if it was 26,000, would that be like close to the – and it was a one in one hundred. Would that be close to the peak of how many copies are going to show up on the census? Yeah, you basically yeah. all of them been graded, right? Because you're one percent right. of twenty six, uh, twenty six thousand is uh, is like two hundred and fifty books, two hundred and sixty yeah. books. It doesn't seem likely. Um, I think there's, you know, there's. Uh, it, I remember having this conversation with Bolo, Jack's Mayo. And I think it's changed with different publishers over the years in terms of 
you know, if there's a 20,000 copy uh, print run and there's a one in 100, okay, so it should be 200. Uh, that doesn't mean that they only printed 200. For some companies in some periods of time, yes, they might only print exactly the copies to go out. Other companies might print extras to hand out at cons or or to fill, you know, damage if, if things are damaged. And from what I understand, some companies will actually print much more than that just to have on hand and, and do with what they will. So I, I don't know anything about DC at the time. I don't know if they were only printing to order. But yeah, if there was 200 and what, if you did the math, if they printed exactly, there should almost every copy has been graded. That, that does seem unlikely. Yeah, I want to make, you know, I'm part of me is wondering if I grabbed the wrong year in this, because uh, there's been a few Wonder Woman 38s. All right. Yeah, I don't. That I post came out in 2011, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like it says 14. 2014? Is yeah, that 14? Cover. Yeah, on the cover. Like. Okay, hold on. Give me a second then. Uh, yeah, oh, it's, not... it's uh, March of 2015. 15. Oh, yeah, I forget. Like, the art's usually done like a year before before the book's actually published. Yeah, so so my bet, I, when, what I searched up there was uh, the Wonder Woman for, from 2009. So that th those, no th those numbers may not jive, obviously. But, uh, sure, yeah. um, well, and honestly, any of the numbers pulled off of uh, you want to you want to think that CGC census is pretty accurate, but yeah, it is. Comicron, you know, not quite so much. There's a lot. Well, of Comicron, and listen and, and listen. John Jackson Miller is an amazing, amazing sort of supporter of this hobby, but those numbers are estimates, right? They're, those aren't exact numbers, right? He is estimating it based on a number of different factors. So, um, don't take anything you see there as gospel. He's doing sort of the best work he can based on the data that he has. Yeah. Um, and I think in the newer ones, they, they don't even give you a exact number. They give you a range. If I'm, if I'm not, he, yeah, he's gone back to exact, but there was a period of time. Yes. During COVID, he was going to a range. And for a long time, he was going to an index basically saying, okay, we're indexing this off of Avengers who historically had about 40,000 copies ordered. And then we're going to index it off that. So these numbers aren't, he's not counting the exact numbers being sold. He's estimating based on a lot of gathering. These aren't perfect estimates. So some of these really small print run books could be much smaller based on his estimates, or they could be higher. Who knows? But so he does amazing work, a huge, 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 um, resource for the industry but those numbers just so you know aren't exact even though they looked exact right so just let's just sort of all appreciate that for what it is okay next slide all right this is another steve book 10 variant um um you know this book could see with the rock this book could see some huge huge gains but it's already going for about 600 bucks uh, last sale we saw it back in April, um, about 130 copies in the census. So um, a big, big DC book that has potential to get even bigger. Can you imagine if they do a movie poster? Oh, like an this? Homage, an homage to to that cover with the rock space on oh, it. Oh, my gosh. Look out. Yeah. I like this one a lot because I, I those DC movies in production right now are so far under the radar. And they might, not be, they might not be, you know, the number one movie of the year, but all, all they have to do is hit that. I mean, Shazam was good. It wasn't amazing, but it was good. It, it like audiences loved it. So look what Aquaman did. It, it, it took everybody by surprise. So and, and speculators have been so pessimistic on, on DC books for, for quite a long time now. So there could be some big surprises uh that seems i don't know it seems like a good price yeah so our advice is you know you can buy books on the on the dip right now 
if you were yeah. willing to take a you know a bit of a gamble on DC yeah. books. Yeah, I mean, if you're a value buyer, DC is probably the place to be buying. Yeah. Um, if you believe they can finally turn it around, which they have to eventually, there's too much potential there. So, all right, I think we have one more book on the list. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, this is Superman! Oh, wow. This is TJ's book. So, and he 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 gave me some education on this. So, I, God bless him for that. Uh, Superman Batman number eight. This is a Michael Turner uh, San Diego Comic Con variant. Um, this book was actually the original cover was a German version, right? Of this book, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it was sold yeah. in Germany, a, a panini potentially, right? It was. Um, and uh, really hard to come by. Um, so they repurposed the art and then they sold it at, uh, at San Diego um, um, as an exclusive. Um, this book doesn't show its face very often. Um, and, uh, and Michael Turner's stuff is, is amazing. Um, we saw this sell recently for about 550 bucks. There's less than 100 on the census. Um, but a gorgeous book, uh, no matter which way you slice it. Yeah, Anybody have any thoughts on this? That's pretty. It's just perfect. I mean, it's a it's a banger. It's perfect. It's a banger, yeah. man. It is. It's perfect. It's an absolute banger. The original, you know, I've had to add that book down to the books I have to have, just yeah. given how kind of you don't usually see these kinds of books coming out of Europe. Usually, the European variants are repurposing art that was super hot in the U.S. It's the other way around here, and as a result, I've got to find this book. Um, it's so tough. I don't it's have tough. any copy of it as it stands, but I but yeah. I bet I need to get one. Because so you're going to chase after the original or the American version? Just out of curiosity. I'm going to go. I'm going to. I I would like the German or Italian or whatever it was. I would like to find that one. I think that would be super cool. Super cool. There's, um, you know, I appreciate that you that. You put this on the list, and that TJ, you said TJ recommended. I think it was TJ, or it might have been Josh. They were both throwing books at me. There are I don't know a lot of, I don't know one of them. It was either yeah. TJ or Josh. So apologize, guys, if I screwed you up there. No, yeah, it's it's not a cheap book where it is, but I mean, there's so many of these that that have risen, and they're but they're still under the radar. Not, I've never heard of or seen this book before. A lot of these big books are, you know, like the the Doctor Afra. Everybody knows them. You know, a lot of people want them, but there's a yeah. lot of really sought after books uh, that are kind of in the shadows. You know what I mean? So it, it's cool to, to to get introduced to some of this stuff. You know, the, the hard thing about it is like Michael Turner was just getting into his prime. And it, it's a shame because, you know, that's typically when they really start to evolve and their art just gets better and better and better. And uh, th this was um, him at his had his very best before before he died, man. You know, it sucks. Yeah, it's it, it's tragic. It's tragic, Joe, for sure. Um, uh, but a beautiful book, nonetheless. Um, Aaron, is that the end? I think that's it. Yeah. I think All right. So listen, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. We love doing these shows. Um, we are our, our next banger presentation. These these have been popular, uh, but our next next banger presentation is going to be in a few weeks. It is going to be bangers that are cover A's. There are going to be no variants allowed uh, in the list, and if there are variants, they have to be open order variants. They can't be restricted. Uh, so that's going to be our next banger list. Stay tuned. We're going to do it in a couple of weeks, and then um, maybe we do a banger list after that of bangers that people don't widely know about, right? So these are our are, are, are books that are sought after, but maybe sought after in the shadows, as, as Tony was sort of pointing out just now. So um, thank you again for tuning in, and uh, please leave comments in the chat, and we will get back to you. If you've got ideas for books we should have on this banger list, let us know, and we will include them. Uh, so thank you very much.